So I'm walking into the courthouse right now and we about to see what's about to happen. Hi G Squad, it's your girl just saying so today's video is about Queen. The video Queen posted about um the whole situation, how she's feeling, what she's doing, and you know, all that. But first, if it's your first time checking out my channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below. I believe it's somewhere right here or right there, wherever it is. Come on now, click it and let it, you know. It's right now, so make it turn gray. And make sure if you already subscribed, you turn on your belt so you can get notified whenever I upload a video. Definitely don't forget to follow me on all my social media platforms. That's Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat. Snapchat, I'm so active on it. I always respond to you guys. It will be that it will be listed in the description box down below. Make sure y'all follow me on all those and show me some love. Send me some messages, DM me, and I always make sure I answer you guys back. And let's right get right into the video. So you guys already know the, the girls involved in this video are dragging the situation way too much. So we're just gonna react to it. So you guys, we get to see it somewhere right here. Let's get right into it. I feel so bad for her. 
into the courthouse right now and we about to see what's about to happen. So I just got from the, And she's um, so beautiful. I just like, got from the courthouse and I was talking to um, certain people about certain things, like legal people. Um, I'm not going to go into all of that, but I'm just sitting out here right now and come to find out there's no Ubers, y'all. There's literally like no Ubers or no Lyfts out here. And then I tried to get a car rental today, but they wouldn't accept my card because of something. It was just, it was just stupid. So oh, today the struggle was real, but I got what I needed to get done. I handled some business. So as y'all can see clearly, the camera died earlier, but I'm finally here in a comfortable place. But I just. I just gotta like get something off my chest. It's just like I just gotta do a little rant. I just will never ever understand how like a guy can have or say he got everything he want and and it's female but still go out like how could you have such a a beautiful woman like inside and out, let alone a family like how could you have that at home but still it's like it's like having a diamond but going out. And looking for um the rock what is it sarconiums you got like a real diamond at home like you got a real jewel but you're going out to look for all the fake stuff and i don't mean to throw no shade but i'm sorry That's i just really you. feel like for chris nobody nobody no other female no matter how long they hair is no matter how fat they butt is how you know pretty they, i feel like no other female can do for chris what i do for him That's i'm right. sorry i just feel that way we got we got too much history together. We got, and Chris know that. That's the thing. He know that. So, so that's what even pisses me off even more is the fact that you know, you know, like you, you know, in the back of your head that none of these females out here is worth losing your family, you know, but you still go and, you know, you risk it. And, and, and then at the end of the day, you know, you want to say, oh, baby, but you know, they don't mean nothing and this and that. But if they didn't, if, if, if they didn't, if they didn't mean anything, you need to think about that first. Right. Think about that first before you make the, make the mistake, you know? Like, okay, this girl don't mean anything, so why would you... Why would you risk it all for her that don't mean nothing to you? Okay, sex. Sex, that's what you can give them. You can throw them a piece of vagina. A piece of pupusa. Can that. Anybody can do that. But what else can you... What, what else can somebody else do for him you know what i'm saying what else can somebody else do for him besides that's right just throw a piece of vagina like literally anybody can do that that's true and that's what i feel like all men need to understand like about these these little these little thoughts out here like <laughs> she seriously, said it. they they may be cute and all but all, at the end of the day all they're gonna do is throw a piece of freaking meat at you and then y'all gonna be done when you find that one girl that got Maybe she might not have the whole uh, the whole hundred percent of what you need, but at least she got that eighty eighty percent or ninety ninety percent. Like they will have a whole eighty percent at home, and go out and make a, a twenty percent feel like you know she a hundred percent. I'm sorry, y'all. I know, I know it sounds crazy, but I hope y'all get what I'm trying to say. Like I am, I, I have my flaws. I'm not perfect, you know. I'm not perfect, and you know, I'm not. I'm not gonna say I'm the prettiest girl in the world, but I know I'm beautiful. For sure. And I'm, and and I know that I, you know, my body is not how it used to be. Girl, don't worry about it. You got a kid. But I had your child. Exactly. You know, so so I'm sitting here trying to really think, like, why do, like, what was so, what was so good about it? Like, what was so good? Besides. A, a couple minutes, cause I know it's a couple minutes. Of he can't, he can't hang for more than that. She knows. It just, it just really pisses me off, and I know that you know people make mistakes and stuff like that. But I feel like if, if me and Chris is, if our relationship was really, really based around God, and if God was in the center, yeah, we we believe we have you believers in God. Don't get me wrong, but it's a difference when you are if, in a believer in God. And when your whole life is based around him, I can admit that our our relationship with God together as like a marriage, it fell off. And 
So of course, when you when you're not um, centered around, when your marriage is not centered around God, of course everything is gonna start falling apart. Period. That's and I true. know that if it was, then this wouldn't happen because Chris wouldn't have been focused on no females. He would have been focused more on what we need to focus on in our calling. You know. And it's and I just feel like it was about that time. It's about I that love time her faith, that, man. you know we stopped playing. And that, to be honest, like I don't want to look stupid in front of people, bro. Like I'm tired of looking dumb in front of people. But at the end of the day, that's that's you know, it's like more than, and and that's what's crazy. Like a a marriage is like a a marriage is a ministry. Mm-hmm. And to be honest, a mar- no marriage is supposed to be represented that way. And, and I apologize to everyone, you know, um, if we haven't been doing, if we haven't been showing the example, you know, together that we, that we were supposed to be showing, which is leading people to God, you know, we, we fell off a little bit, actually a lot. A lot, yeah. And I feel like, you know, God seen that and stuff just start falling apart. And I'm not going to say, I'm not saying it to justify what he's doing because I don't condone it at all. But at the, it's just the truth. When your relationship is not based around God, your marriage isn't, then stuff is going to fall apart. And it's not going to be, it's not going to run smoothly. Things are going to happen. Temptations are going to get more tempting. Like, it's going to be easier to fall for. And if you surround yourself with people that go to the club all the time, then, of course, you're going to go to the club. You're yep. going to want to do the things that they do. you got to surround yourself with positive people. And that's just the whole issue right there. Mhm. I'm sorry, y'all. I just, it's just like I'm just, I'm, I might not make sense, but this is, this is. Girl, you making sense? Right now. I'm just really angry, to be honest. And to be honest with you guys, I haven't even cried. Oh, that's I how you cried. know. And that's how I know something inside of me like broke because the old me probably would have been hooping and hollering and trying to trying to fight them and 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 all of this other stuff. But I, I couldn't even cry. Because it's like when you're numb to something, you can't cry. And I'm just... She's too hurt like, inside. Y'all, I like, want my, like, y'all, I really want my marriage to work out. Like, I do. Like, I, I wouldn't want to be with nobody else but Chris. But I want to be with a better version of him. I want to be with... I want him to just be right and, and do the right stuff. And not make bad decisions based off of your level of um, horniness. It's just... It's just dumb. It was just so dumb. It was a bad decision. But everybody make bad decisions, you know. But not over and over though. Hearing, um, I'm not trying to like blast him and stuff like that because everybody else is already blasting him. I'm just, I'm just telling y'all how I feel right now, where I'm at, what state of mind I'm in. You know, it's very hard. And like one part of me is like, man, I, you know, I know I don't deserve this, and I could have better. But the other part of me is. Also, like, you know, man, this is my family, like, and it's, it's so easy for other people to be like, queen, leave them, just leave, you, you got, you got your own channel now, and this and that, yeah, I understand that, but, but at the end of the day, like, this is what I feel like was meant to be for me, I really feel like I, my family was meant to be together, and I just feel like he made bad, bad choices, and, and they need to change, period, for good, like, ne- like, never again. I don't think he can change, honestly. It's either she's just gonna have to take it look stupid again. or leave. You know, I don't wanna look stupid. So I'm just like he really like I'm I'm just really in a in a bad place right now where I really just need to honestly just seek God and figure out what I need to do because if Chris was to really just I don't know, I wish I could look into the future and see stuff, y'all. It's like a big it's a big toll. It, it took a big toll, man. This is not nothing small. This is big to me. So, I'm going to just stay collective and pray about it and try to keep my cool. But I can't lie. I'm pissed off and I'm, I'm mad as hell. I'm mad. I'm, I'm so mad. The fact, that the, the fact that anybody, any other female could say she had something as mine. It just pisses, it just pisses me off. Yeah, that's It's not mean. fair to me. And it's not their fault. It's definitely not their fault either. But it's a lot of home wrecking. I ain't gonna say the H word. It's a lot of home wrecking H words out there too that's happy. That's happy about it. But just remember this.
this. You gonna fall in love with somebody? Mm-hmm. And you gonna feel the same way that I feel. Mm -hmm. And they do the same thing. So everybody that's sitting up there um, laughing about it. People that waited on this to happen. It's not even just funny. remember that one day, it could be you. So, I'm just so frustrated, bro. Listen, I haven't ate all day, y'all. I, I gotta get, I gotta, one, get some rest because I barely got rest. But I gotta eat. So, I'm about to go eat. I just want to really let y'all know where my head is right now. I love all you guys. I love all my true supporters. I love everybody that's been checking on me and that's been saying, you know, Queen, you beautiful. Nothing's wrong with you. And, like, just trying to remind me and just comfort me. I, I love all you guys. And I thank and appreciate y'all because the encouragement does, it, it is encouraging. So, I just want to let everybody know, like, if I don't get back to you on social media, I can't get to everybody, but if I don't get back to you, I'm just, like, in a state where I'm just, you know, thinking and stuff. So, yeah, I'm out, y'all. That's um, understandable. I'll talk to y'all later. So, guys, her response was really touching, and the stuff that she said were really, like, you know, hitting the heart. But then, again, I, this is the... I, I kind of saw this coming, because... It seems like even though she went to the courthouse and all the stuff, she will eventually go back to him. I don't know if you guys understand because she says she wants her marriage to work and she wants her family to work, to work because she feels like that's what she, like she was meant to be with Chris and you know create a family with Chris. But technically, if she really thinks about it, it's either she's gonna have to take the Chris that he is and with all his good and bad. Or she's gonna have to leave because we like you can not change a grown man like he has to want to change himself you know what i'm saying and the apology video i'll probably react to it like probably tomorrow or something and post it for you guys because in the apology video even though he apologized like you can tell it's not really sincere he just want her to forgive him and then when she, once she comes back he's gonna do it again because this is not the first time he does that and I don't know what she mean, what she means when she says she doesn't want to like it hurts her to know that some other girl had something that was that was hers because like I mentioned before on my side chick story I have been cheating on basically because I thought I was the main chick I have been cheating on so I know how that feels like it's really it really really hurts like if you guys haven't watched that video I probably like put the little pop up eye up here so you guys can go ahead and click that and watch that video it really hurts to be cheated on like especially when you put your all into that person and you know that no other female will be able to like give him what you have been giving him since you have been together and they've been together since high school like they said they were high school sweethearts so it really hurts her knowing that you know her relationship is in jeopardy and it might not work or she would just keep looking dumb out here you know what i'm saying so basically um and i also apologize the f I, I say i also <laughs> appreciate the fact that she apologized at the end and then like not at the end at the end but throughout her speech she apologized and said you know sorry about all that like, to us like to the viewers and to her fan base and everybody else because even though she didn't do anything the fact that this is going on the internet and her name is involved she felt like she had to apologize and she did which is really which shows that she's really respectful and she's you know she's mature um also i feel like she lucky has like like a self-esteem issue because she was like she's giving herself like an 80 or a 90 i literally think this girl is 98 percent like let's say the two percent is like her flaws and if she's because she was basing those percentage on how the person look outside i feel like she's a 98 like straight up like that she's a 98 and i'm a girl so i'm sure guys are really you know looking at her like damn she's bad but she feels like the fact that she gave birth her body is not like you used to girl you shouldn't worry about all that because first of all you have a kid that's his so he should be appreciating all that even your stretch marks if you have any like that's just as real as i can be like if i give birth to a man i mean to a man's child and he's not appreciating i don't do i don't care about how i would look eventually you need to appreciate that body because guess what your baby was the one that made all that happen at the end of the day so you saying that um so queen saying that oh she had a baby her body it doesn't your body wasn't meant to stay the way it was at first like after you give birth most most women's body change after they give birth it might be inside it might be outside like meaning you can gain weight lose weight or inside like you can it can move your organs and 
excuse me and do something to you so i feel like you shouldn't worry about what your body looks like but what you 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 know what you have inside which is what chris should do you shouldn't worry about what all those other females have from the outside but focus on his wife and his child like and plus i remember the vlog when you guys had like a hard time throughout your pregnancy and all those stuff and he was saying how he was scared that you you know he wasn't gonna make it if he was like every time he's about to cheat he should really think about that like remember how i almost lost my life because i was giving birth to your child and i was going through a child's pregnancy like he should see all those stuff and remember that oh snap my wife is at home and she almost gave up her life because she had to give birth to my child so let me not mess around because cheating is never okay i don't care it's not the first time he does it and i'm sure this is not going to be the last time i'm very sure this won't be the last time so she might as well just like set some boundaries and work with that and also if you guys don't know there is a um video that was posted like a few days ago as well saying that queen has also been cheating on chris and I personally do not believe it, but if you want me to react to it and post it on my channel, I'll definitely make sure I, you know, I do so in the next few days. But comment down below or hit me up on Snapchat to let me know y'all want me to, you know, go ahead and react to that video. And also, I'm planning on doing a Q&A question and answer video for you guys because I got a lot of subscri new subscribers. So don't forget to send me your questions. It could be under this video. It could be on my uh, Instagram DM. My Instagram is Gislen Baby. I'll put it on the screen. It will also be listed on the description down below. And also follow me on my Snapchat. You can send me questions on my Snapchat as well. It's Gizel also written somewhere here or here. And definitely follow me on Twitter as well because you can also send me questions on Twitter or, you know, interact with me. Um, once again, thank you guys so much for watching this video. And I hope you guys really appreciate what all the content I've been giving to you guys. I've been uploading three to two, two to three times a day. And you know, I go to school. Like right now, I'm on my way to school. After I'm done doing this, I'll go to school and probably edit this video in school. You guys know I'm putting the, all this work in for you guys. And of course, you guys know that this channel is not a drama channel. Like eventually, this stuff will wear out, we will wear out and will, you know. And so we keep on our regular schedule, but you guys already know this vi this channel we do reactions So that's what I'm doing. So it's not like it's a drama channel So if you are subscribed to this channel because you're looking for drama or you just want to hear about drama Then probably this is not a channel for you, but But I will definitely be reacting on stuff like that I you know trending like this crazy green situation is trending so I'm gonna be reacting to you know to it like i'm doing now um once again guys thank you so much for watching this video don't forget to give this a thumbs up don't forget to like comment share and subscribe please and i'll catch you guys on my next video